Hi guys and welcome to Diving Down Under. Today I'm going to be doing a video aimed at all the women that scuba dive around the world. I'm going to be focusing on things like breast implants, the menstrual cycle and pregnancy while scuba diving. So let's dive right into it and we'll start with breast implants. Now according to Dan or the Divers Alert Network, they have tested three different types of implants. The silicon, the saline and the silicon saline implants. Now they found that it is safe to dive. Micro bubbles may form within the implant itself, but they do resolve over time. However, if you do feel any discomfort during or after the dive, make sure that you get it checked out. It's always better being safe than sorry. Now moving on, I was asked by one of my students if the menstrual cycle could attract a shark. Now after much research from shark attack statistics from around the world, I found that women have a much lower attack rate than that of their male counterparts. And I thought to myself, well why is this? And the only real theory I can find is that, well men are more likely to do stupid things. However, I personally think that sharks just like the taste of men in the sea, or sea men. <laughs> Realistically though, shark attacks are very, very rare for scuba divers and you would have to be extremely unlucky to be bitten by a shark while scuba diving. But what about DCI, or decompression sickness, or the bends as it's more commonly known as? Well, currently it is not fully understood, and according to Dan, theoretically it is possible, due to fluid retention and tissue swelling, that it can be more difficult to get rid of the dissolved nitrogen from the body. Thus, this can put you at a greater risk of decompression sickness. Now research has also been done on the contraceptive pill and this suggests that you can be more susceptible to decompression sickness while on the pill than while not. Now generally speaking and as with every dive it is dependent on how you feel prior and you should only dive if you feel confident and well enough to do so. Now moving on to our last little subject which is pregnancy and diving. Now there's not a lot of information on pregnancy and scuba diving as it is not yet fully understood what the effects are on the mother and the growing fetus. However, according to the Divers Alert Network, animal studies of decompression sickness during pregnancy have also noted increases in cardiac malformations. If a woman dives inadvertently before pregnancy is diagnosed during the first trimester of pregnancy, acknowledging that a very limited amount of literature and experience exists, I suggest getting a second trimester ultrasound with emphasis on the limb and spine development with good detailing of the cardiac structures and configurations of the great vessels around the heart, aorta and preliminary arteries, etc. But giving the best method to avoid any complications while pregnant is not to scuba dive while pregnant. And I would recommend this until more research is done. Well, I hope this has been an educational and interesting video for you guys. Subscribe for more. And as always guys, thanks for watching, have a safe dive, and I will see you next time.